Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So today I'm going to show you how so many mainstream mathematics academics shot themselves in the head. Let's begin. Now, many years ago, I talked about the new calculus and introduced it to the mainstream, uh, but all they could do was try to be smart and reject the new calculus. But basically, I allowed them to dig their graves wide and deep. Uh, for example, all the fools on that big trash heap called Reddit, uh, Sidot Math, Cora, Mastac Exchange, and many of their other partnership heaps encouraged attacks in their stupidity, their ignorance, their arrogance. Some of the prize mainstream idiots are listed here uh, on this page, and you can stop it and read it. I'm not going to spend time on it. But what do all these morons have in common? Well, let's see. None of them realized that the new calculus derivative and definite integral are based on the mean value theorem. Now, if the new calculus were a load of garbage, then the mean value theorem is a load of garbage. Wouldn't that be a, a a correct inference? Of course it would. So this is how the new calculus derivative is defined. And of course, one can also add the auxiliary uh, expression to this. In other words, Q of X M N. Uh, it doesn't have to be added because it's always zero. But in any case, in this expression, X lies between X minus M and X plus N. That's your first clue, okay? because C lies between B and A. And so if you let B equal to X plus N and A equal to X minus M, then B minus A is equal to M plus N, and you have this identity here. Does this ring a bell? Of course it does. This is the same identity from the mean value theorem stating that the derivative at C is equal to this finite difference. Do, there, there's there, there's nothing about limits there or bullshit about infinity or epsilon delta garbage or anything like that. And and, and basically what we have here is is a, a solid one hundred percent definition of the derivative, which conforms to geometry. Okay. There's, there's no nonsense like you find in the mainstream formulation, which is full of garbage. So the buffoons were telling you and me that the mean value theorem is nonsense. Yes, that's right. If you reject the new calculus derivative and definite integral, you morons, you are rejecting the mean value theorem. Do you get that, stupid? That's right, you mental midgets. You absolute fools, you bunch of swine. You had no clue about this because I didn't tell you. And the incorrigible fools who kept calling me names, they actually were basically projecting themselves onto me. They are the cranks, the crackpots, and the mentally ill. So this is the nail in their coffin, okay? And such a thing was not possible in their ass formulation of calculus. That is, in my historic geometric density, I showed that Q of XH cannot be an auxiliary equation because it's the slope difference, which is zero in, in only one case, in the case that F is a straight line. So I restored some irrationality, uh, some rationality to their irrationality by introducing the historic geometric theorem. But again, um, every time I corrected the fools, they rejected my correction, and pointing out the errors became futile. Stupid cannot be fixed. If you're not already a subscriber, become one. Follow me on academia.edu, contribute on one of my pay sites. And by the way, I've written a lot. Well, I've started writing books, and uh, you can access these books on <clears throat> Kindle. So. <clears throat> I've published three books. One's in Greek. The other two are in English. Uh, this one here, you may have seen some of it before, but uh, what is the new calculus is new. And 
the Ultimate Book of Numbers is also available as hardcover. It's expensive because they charge for printing costs, etc. So I don't really get $150. I get much less than that, less than $70 even. And um, that's uh, basically it. Uh, if you have any questions, you know where to find my email on the internet. I'm not allowing comments. I don't have time for fools. And the majority of you are fools. And so that's pretty much it. Till next time, I'm John Gabriel, and this is a new Calculus Channel. Goodbye.